Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to some comments and questions by Cavman7 um, who asks about creating a basic multiplayer mission and he's having a few dramas with it. So let's help him out. Okay, so I've loaded in to a map. I'm using Chinaris, which is part of the um, Cup Terrains, uh, which you could find on the workshop. And we're going to get started with the very basic stuff. So firstly, we're going to need some playable units. Um, so let's grab some United States Army Infantry and let's make them a um, OCP team. Okay, so we've got four units. You'll note that the red marker around this means that is the player unit. To make all of these units playable, we just double left click the marker above the unit leader and select playable. And then you'll see this marker is red, which is the primary player, and these others are now have got purple circles around the unit markers. So that unit is now um, playable. So you'll have four player slots. Okay. Um, next thing we need to do is have a respawn position. Now you can go to systems multiplayer respawn position. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. However, I like to use markers because they seem to be more reliable and they won't break. So we're going to go to markers, down to system, select an empty marker, place it down, double left click and rename it respawn west, respawn underscore west. Okay, so that is now our respawn position. Now we want to give these guys some supplies. So we're going to go to single objects, props, and just type in the word ammo. And then we're going to have a lot of different ammo boxes um, sorted out there. You can select any one you like depending on what faction you're using. Um, let's go with a um, getting there, getting there, getting there, trying to find the one I want to use. Let's go for a NATO supply box. Okay, so that will, when the mission starts, um, that will be there and the guys can resupply on it. Now, you can double left click on um, the ammo box and go to equipment storage and you can edit what it is that you want to edit inside uh, the. So you can change the, the number of items in here. Um, you can make them infinite or you can select a limited number. Um, so your guys have a resupply. So there the first things you need to set up is playable units, a respawn position and uh, an ammo box if you're going to give your guys access to an ammo box. Um, now where you may be coming unstuck if you're trying to do this and it seems to not be working so well is go up to attributes down to multiplayer, select the game type as cooperative if that's what you're doing we'll have the minimum players as zero and the max players at the moment as four because that is the number of playable units we have. Next we have the respawn section. So we're going to select respawn on custom position. Then we're going to have respawn delay and I'm going to set it to five seconds. Then we're going to have Revive enabled for all players and Revive Duration we'll just leave at 6 seconds and click OK. Attributes General 
this is where you put your mission name um, and because I'm using a mod called Eden Enhanced um, I have the option to uh, change any spawned objects to objects editable in Zeus and if uh, you've got any sort of mission I highly recommend you do that so just check that click OK then it's probably a great idea at that stage to go to scenario save as MP demo save and that's the basic framework that you have now for your mission um, with your tasks and this I've done other tutorials about your tasks we go to Intel create task place that there a set task state we'll need a couple of triggers uh, let's go for the smaller ones Uh, task set for all playable units task ID task 1 task title move to control tower and you can put a further description there if you like set that to assigned we're going to have a trigger to initiate the task so in here once we've double clicked we're going to set it to any player present and then we're going to right click connect and sync to the task now in the set task state we're going to double left click and set succeeded then this is the trigger that will succeed the task so double left click select any player present and we're going to right click connect sync to the set task state and then we need to set or sync the set task state to the task now um, it was mentioned that uh, when respawns happen or when you are taken out nothing happens and you don't get a respawn option uh, well editing those attributes in multiplayer uh, which I've showed you for respawn on custom position um, will now enable you to respawn on the respawn marker that we've placed and just to show you how that works and that this does work I'll show you how it does that making sure that because this is a multiplayer mission we go up to play and then play in multiplayer okay so I'm going to select that and I'm going to disable the AI because I don't need these guys if you have any other um, human players joining they can take any of those slots but I'm just going to do that and disable the AI because I don't want them running around and annoying me okay so I'm in there's my ammo box I can go to the ammo box and go to inventory now because this is just a default placed ammo box there's only standard uh, vanilla armor 3 stuff in here which I really don't use I'm using um, cup units so the weapon I've got at the moment won't be compatible with anything in the ammo box and I'll show you how to change that um, I'll go over here to this trigger here somewhere and there we've got a task assigned to move to the control tower and once I get over to the control tower I'll enter that trigger and that will complete now to show you about the respawns I'm going to drop a frag lie down on it uh, press middle mouse button to force respawn and the reason it's um, gives you that option is because revive is enabled so you play yourself the option to revive you and I was spawned on the respawn marker that I placed 
Here's a little piece of code um, that I will paste into a paste bin and link it in the description that will enable the ammo box to be a full arsenal and I'll show you how that works. So to add that full arsenal you just open the ammo box by double left clicking or you can if you want to right click and go to attributes and in the init field you just place that line of code and that ammo box has now become a full arsenal and when that happens it will pick up the equipment for any mods that you're using at the time so you see I've got a lot of um, community upgrade or uh, update project cup stuff now available in um, the arsenal. Of course you can use a limited arsenal uh, so that your guys don't have access to all the toys if you don't want them to. Um, so that's a basic, very basic start to a multiplayer mission. Uh, so, Cavman, I think maybe what you were missing, mate, is um, placing down a respawn position, as in a marker, and naming it Respawn West. In addition, going up to Attributes and to Multiplayer, and ensuring that Respawn on Custom Position is selected, um, and Show Respawn Counter is always handy, shows uh, players how long they have to go before they respawn. Select cooperative mission and that will work. Enable revive for all players. Um, if you have um, other human players, so if you want to have a TVT or two opposing sides sort of scenario, let's throw in some um, uh, let's put in some FIA troops, we'll just put into a patrol team and to make these playable again we just double click on the unit marker above the leader's head and we go to playable so now that whole unit is playable and we want a respawn position for those guys so we're going to go to markers, system, empty to place it down in their location, double left click and change the marker name to respawn underscore east. Uh, so you now have a respawn position for any east troops. So you have two opposing sides. And you'll now notice that we have blue 4 and op 4 and I can select to be a player on either side. So I'll go into the OP4 group and disable the AI. And I'm now part of the OP4 group. And my respawn position is around here somewhere. And I'll show you that that respawn does work. Oh, I didn't see where the grenade went. I think I'm close enough to it. Yep. Uh, press middle mouse button to force respawn. 5 second delay on the respawn and bingo I'm back where I put the respawn marker so that is a very basic template um, what I'll do is I'll show you another couple of things that might come in handy so instead of just being an infantry mission, let's put down some uh, vehicles. Let's go US Army and APCs. Let's throw down a good old fashioned M113A1. Okay, and we'll put down... Mm, a HQ1 as well. Okay. Now these vehicles, obviously the players can use them, they can jump into them, drive around, do whatever they like with them. Um, if these vehicles are destroyed, uh, we may want them back. So let's set up a respawn position for the vehicles. So we just go up to Systems, down to Multiplayer, and we set up a Vehicle Respawn. And just place that on the map anywhere you like. 
double left click to open it. Um, now the attributes in here, the position will be the starting position of the vehicles, so they will spawn exactly where they are now. Um, now with rec, I always select uh, delete. I don't use delete with explosion effect, although you can do that if you like. Notification, I normally have that off because I don't want a notification in game when a new vehicle has spawned, but you can leave that on if you like. And for the purposes of this to show you what it looks like, I'll leave it on and click OK. Now what I need to do is sync those by left click, drag, right click, connect sync to the respawn position. And in there I'll set a little delay of five seconds. Now that respawn, vehicle respawn position will also work for um, aircraft. So you don't need a separate one for aircraft. And let's put down UH-60M. I'll move this over here a little bit. Um, so you, you don't need an additional one, you can simply right click, connect, sync to the vehicle respawn module and that will work fine. Uh, now because I need to destroy a little bit of stuff, I'm going to add a Zeus module and you can do that by going to systems, Zeus and down to game master and again it doesn't matter where you place this on the map. Double left click, go to owner as I'm going to set it as S1. Uh, all add-ons including unofficial ones, press OK and I'm going to change the variable name of the main player to S1 so he owns that Zeus module. OK to demonstrate that the vehicle respawn stuff does work I'm going to go into Zeus and I'm going to use the modules Zeus, the old trusty lightning bolt And I'm going to take out some of these things. And you'll see that they've all now respawned. I set a five second delay and on original starting position. So that's how you do a vehicle respawn. So, it provided you have some playable units, a respawn position, as in a marker. Uh, and you have gone to Attributes, Multiplayer, Co-op Mission, Number of Players, Respawn on Custom Position selected with a Respawn Counter, Revive Mode enabled for all players, and you've gone to Scenario, Export to Multiplayer, uh, that will work for respawns. So Cabman, I think that may be what you're alluding to when you say that um, when the players get taken out, um, they can't respawn or you load the mission and nothing happens. This should fix all of that for you. So this is this will be uh, just part one of this. Um, I'll go further in making a complete basic mission in the next tutorial or in a very soon to be released tutorial. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up and a sub if you haven't already. Uh, you can ask any questions in the comments below or see us in our Discord server. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.